Hi. We're the Ratnam family. Uh, we're here to support Gary Anasangari's uh, nomination for the uh, Liberal Party for the federal race um, this coming year. Uh, this is a very important um, race. It's very important issues that are going to be discussed. Uh, we, uh, we are strong supporters of the Liberal Party and we'd like to share some of our thoughts uh, about our uh, love for Canada, uh, why we really love uh, growing up here. Also, what else do we like to talk about? We like to talk about why we support Gary in particular and why we think that he's uh, an excellent candidate um, uh, yeah. for this yeah. position. Yeah. So uh, Canada is a great country, um, particularly uh, where, where we've lived in Scarborough all our lives. Uh, and the thing that sticks out uh, is the multiculturalism. Every ethnic group and uh, religious group is represented in this city and we, uh, live, we live united. Um, and it's really nice to see that kind of environment here. I think it's one of the few places in the world where you have so many different types of people um, living together in, uh, in such a peaceful environment. Um, and that's the second thing, which is that uh, Canada is a great country um, because of yeah. how peaceful it is and um, how safe it is. Um, and um, that's yeah. one of the things that we, we really cherish um, and certainly that we don't take for granted. Yeah, and I guess another one I guess you could say is that because so our parents uh, immigrated here uh, when we were young, myself, myself and Melanie, and Barbara was born in Canada, but uh, they immigrated here and uh, oh, from it's a working class family where um, obviously uh, there was struggle growing up and uh, my parents coming from um, a place of struggle, uh, there were certain things that we came to value, uh, one of them being hard work and being able to succeed in Canada created the opportunity uh, where there was equal opportunity for others to succeed and for those who struggle uh, Canada creates the kind of support uh, that the working class needs and so that's an important uh, part of uh, Canada's I guess you can say infrastructure that enables people who are new to the country to be able to be a part of the fabric of the culture but also uh, have a chance to be able to sort of perceive uh, persevere and, and, and pursue goals uh, so that's, that's an important thing and I think uh, the Liberal Party um, definitely is uh, the party that we can relate to for that reason. Um, they care so much about sort of the social construct of uh, society and what's important to uh, the people, um, uh, at every, particularly the working class. Um, but also, you know, coming back to that we not only did we try to persevere, but we also tried to give back to the community. And I think that's where uh, you could say we met uh, Gary. Uh, uh, um, how many years back that was? Like over twenty years. Over twenty years. Yeah. yeah. We knew Gary. And through our community service. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And all the volunteer works that he has done. Yeah. Every um, single event that we have been to, there is not yeah. a single event that uh, we haven't witnessed uh, Gary's presence. That's Absolutely. yeah, yeah a shining, really, a shining yeah. example. Mm -hmm. I was pretty young, Melanie. You were pretty young too. Yeah, we were quite young when yeah. we knew him. Yeah, we were, I, yeah. We were, I have seen Gary so many occasions. Uh, coming was, out and yes. supporting all the events, and we we knew him when we were very very young, and he has always been uh, a role model to us, um, it's both true. in his in his life, his academic achievements, and not just that, but just his his. Uh, like persistent and constant and consistent um, community support, uh, uh, his presence is everywhere. There, yeah. Like my mom said, there's not an event that we go to where he's not there somehow supporting, um, supporting, uh, supporting the community effort from, you know, the, um, the shows that you guys do with the, the Children's Aid Society. Society yeah, yeah the, children's, should, the yeah. Christmas shows that they put on for the Children's Aid Society, he's there. Um, to the stuff that he started himself, the like organizations Cantide like Cantide. Yeah. Yeah. Um, to, to just even being there, to attend an event. Um, just, just his presence, just being there um, to, you know, support, to, support, yeah. to support the group. He's always, he's always coming, out, um, coming out to that and, and for as long as we can remember, he's just been one of those like pivotal uh, members of, of the of the community of, of of Scarborough and the community of the of, of mm -hmm. the Scarborough Rouge Park. Yeah, <coughs> um, I think uh, he's a perfect candidate for this uh, nice. nomination because uh, he has worked all his life here and he grew up in this uh, community. At the same time, he has done all his volunteer work too. 
So, so people, have, most people would know him, and uh, the reason for his, this um, this choice that he has picked this area because most people would uh, really appreciate his uh, philanthropy work that he has done in this community. So that's why I think he's the most uh, suitable and appropriate candidate for this nomination. So I mean, when we think about uh, what we would want in a political leader, uh, our elected representative. Um, there's certain qualities that we would uh, hope um, to see and you know you're usually given very little time um, to be able to make that kind of assessment um, you know in a short campaign run we've had the f fortunate sort of luxury I guess you can say of knowing this particular candidate um, for 20 years and we can say you know that we know and when you know someone for 20 years you have plenty of opportunity to see their strengths and their weaknesses you can essentially uh, be able to uh, you know over a longer period of time get a better sense of a person and with Gary uh, one of the things that we can say without flinching without uh, a doubt in our mind is that he has integrity he genuinely cares about public service uh, that just bleeds through him he wears his heart on his sleeve uh, he's a silent type of leader, meaning he serves uh, his community, and that's how he leads, by example. Um, he's brilliant. Um, his, his creativity and what he did uh, with Cantide and many, many other examples, I'm sure we, many people uh, have, there are many others that others know, and we know of a list and they can go on forever for about it, but essentially he carries these qualities and he has been consistent uh, over the 20 years that we've known him um, as a person who shares, has genuine character, authentic character, uh, very positive minded, always out to help people. Um, so this is something that, you know, uh, I think when we look especially for uh, our, our nominee for the Liberal Party, this is something that we care about because that's what we believe the values of the Liberal Party are and that's why we vote for them. Um, so this works for us, having the opportunity to be able to endorse Gary, someone who we know who shares the same values, has been our sort of inspiration um, for community service as well. Um, it, it's come, we have great pride for that, and we're really proud of yes. to be able to say that we can... Yeah, um, we all totally agree on that. Yeah, yes. um, I so, exactly. agree on that totally. And uh, there's no doubt he's a perfect candidate for this yeah. race, and he's going to get it. So to conclude, uh, for this uh, liberal nomination, as a family, we'd like to say that we, we support, support Gary. Gary.